in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Holy, 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 is the Lord, is the Lord, God Almighty, is the Lord, God Almighty, my life is full, my life is full, My life is full. My life is full of your glory. Hey, and the people say, Holy, holy. And the people say, Holy, holy, holy. And the people say, Holy, holy. Is the Lord, is the Lord. My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Prophesy to yourself. My life is full of your wonders. My life is full. Yeah. My life is full. Full of your wisdom, my life is full of your Holy Spirit. We declare tonight that you have absolute unrestrained access to our spirits, to our minds, and to our bodies. For you are the one given to us by Jesus to help us understand the kingdom, to help us understand his power, to help us understand the majesty and the realities of the spirit. We thank you. We honor your presence. We honor your wisdom. Lord, I pray that tonight you will open us up again to the mysteries of the kingdom. May we encounter your power. May we encounter your light. Turn us into signs and wonders. Do this and bring glory to the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Just two verses. And then we'll sit down. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Paul made a statement. He said, let a man so account of us as the ministers of Christ, number one, and then he calls them stewards, custodians. A steward is one who has been trusted with something. 
there are men that the Bible calls stewards of the mysteries of God. Stewards. Like I give you a Bible, I say, please hold it for me. And every time they are looking for that Bible, they make reference to you because you have been made a steward. In Matthew 25, he made other stewards of his financial resources. Is that true? So the Bible says, let a man, please keep it there, let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ. But then much more than that, that we are stewards of the mysteries of God. Verse 2 says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Faithful in what? Faithful in communicating those mysteries. Moreover, it is required that if at any point by the grace of God, you are made a steward of any dimension of the mysteries of God, your assignment among other things is faithfulness. To make sure that you continually communicate those mysteries until the people that God has committed to your care rise to the reality. You see, stewards are dispensers. The, the whole idea is not for them to keep it. It is that it flows to the people. It's just that by the election of grace, they are the communicators of this reality. Stewards of the mysteries of God. Not stewards of preaching. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. With all humility, there are preachers, but there are stewards of the mysteries of God. Are we together? You know that a dimension of God was allocated to certain personalities and the Bible encourages them to be faithful, unbending, ensuring that people enter that dimension. I'd like you to open your mouth and cry to God in one minute and say, Lord, the dimension of the mystery that has been committed, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Are we praying? Lord, we thank you and we accept with all humility the privilege of being stewards of the mysteries. Stewards of the mysteries, the secrets of God. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Good evening, everybody. We're in for a serious time tonight. Just smile at someone close to you and say good evening. Are we together? Praise the Lord. It's always my joy to bring the word of the Lord. I remain faithful to this task. It's a grand grace in Jesus' name. I just want to specially appreciate Honorable. Honestly, it was a big surprise. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. All the way from Adamawa State through Abuja and he gave us a big surprise. God bless you, sir. Thank you. John Terry from Adamawa State House of Assembly. God bless you, sir. The Lord honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In this kingdom, we rise not just by desire, but how much light we have accessed and engaged not only accessed i used to say accessed alone but i found out that was not very accurate we rise in this kingdom not just by how much light is available but how much light we have accessed and engaged you can access it meaning you are not in ignorance of its operation but not engage it you will not see anything we rise in this kingdom, brothers and sisters, on the strength of the light, the illumination, the precepts of the kingdom that we have both accessed and engaged. Accessing it is a product of humility and desperate pursuit, but engaging it is the product of faith. Accessing the word is not faith. It gives you potential to manifest faith until you begin to engage the word. I've said it that faith is simply a product of understanding, obedience, and courage. Understanding. You cannot act upon what you do not understand. 
sustainably obedience the ability to do to the latter and the courage to stay there regardless of the temporary results that you see are we together so may i remind us again that desire is not enough to rise in the kingdom i desire to encounter the anointing wonderful but that in itself will never expose you to dimensions of the anointing i desire to encounter the spirit of revelation wonderful but that will not bring you into those dimensions i desire to walk in kingdom wealth and prosperity wonderful but that will not bring it that way i desire to live long i desire to live strong i desire to be a leader i desire to be great our society is full of desire that's wonderful it's a good starting point except for the fact that desire alone will not amount to anything people desire to be anointed they desire to be blessed they desire to receive miracles they desire deliverance they desire healing but they stop at the level of desire and then believe that that's all they need to do no desire sponsors the appetite and the fortitude for pursuit when there is desire you will defy every excuse you will defy every consequence and pursue your pursuit gives you access your desire gives you the inner strength the tenacity the staying power to pursue information pursue light pursue an encounter are we together then if and when you have that encounter you have access to it now the next thing is to put your understanding to work to engage that truth you know the engaging part is where i truly believe that the church of the lord jesus christ has failed very well i have said it again and again that i don't believe the church of god is in ignorance necessarily by the grace of god the servants of god scattered around nigeria africa and the world have done well commendably well in being faithful dispensers of the mysteries of the kingdom are we together yes we give that credit to all the pastors the prophets the apostles the teachers and all the people who have contributed in supplying dimensions to the body of christ bridging the ignorance that is in the body but the results have not been very significant because we have stopped at the level of access and we believe that the moment you find truth automatically it should produce result no sir no sir truth must be engaged engaged to produce this mic has great potential to amplify my voice so that people can hear both within this vicinity and then through the power of the internet across the nations of the world but until this device is engaged accordingly not engage as you wish there is a pattern engage accordingly then it releases the full strength of it i can drop this mic and shout and there is a mic that is capable of amplifying my voice but i can turn and live a very very hard life i have access to the mic but i have not engaged it accordingly is that true so please let us deliver ourselves from this this um, is a combination of pride and folly that sweeps across the body of Christ that because we have accumulated a compendium of a lot of knowledge it automatically means that our lives will be a reflection no sir accumulation of spiritual information does not produce result it is the supply of the grace and the advantage of that grace that you take to engage to engage Engaging is very important. To engage means to put the, the word of God to work. You engage it and stay there. Then it is at the point of engaging the word that God's integrity is committed. There are many people when you teach on tithing, they will help you finish the message. But they don't engage it. They don't do it. They do it occasionally. How about those who do not engage the power 
of speaking the word in faith how many people know about the mystery of a dance the mystery of praise how many people really do it is that true it is the doing that's why when an evangelist finishes preaching it doesn't say now that you have listened to me you are going to heaven you can be in that crusade ground and go to hell you can even be part of the organizer and still go to hell at the end of it he gives room for engaging are you here and you want to give your heart to the lord and then people come out it is only those who come out that we pray for we bless everybody but we pray for those who come out as a sign that the message has touched them they have understood and they have responded in acts chapter 4 the bible says that paul and um, peter and, and and john they were on their way to the temple and whilst they passed the beautiful gate the bible says they saw a man that had been crippled from birth there at the gate asking for arms and the bible says that he requested that they helped him you know like beggars would do and then peter looked at him and said silver and gold i do not have any but such as i have i give unto you in the name of jesus he said rise up and walk access but the man was there the bible never said he got up then the bible says peter help me pastor alpha peter held his hands and forced him to engage you see it is at the point of obedience that the power is released not when the word just comes this is the dynamics of results until the word of god is engaged with faith and understanding the word of god is as barren as whatever it is so the bible says he held his hands and while he motioned on him to rest you see that at that point the bible says he leaping stood that guy would have remained there and the apostles would have gone the power of god hovering around how about god genesis chapter one the bible says there was darkness from the hebrew word tohu wabohu darkness confusion and then the bible says the spirit of god the very force that is responsible for results and creation was hovering around but no change happened until god said and god acted he engaged and said let there be light be light appear reappear and then there was that and he said it and he saw it believers are largely not in ignorance so while we seek to open the body of christ to greater frontiers of revelation i am very concerned about our engaging the ones we know already because the truth of the matter is that if we commit ourselves diligently our life should begin to command certain levels of notable results you see the bible talks about a certain group of people it says they are ever learning is god blessing us already ever learning meaning that they have an appetite and that's supposed to be a good thing an appetite to explore let's go deeper wonderful let's go higher wonderful but the question is what do you do with all the conferences and conventions and meetings and sunday services wednesday prayer meetings many believers receive prophecies they receive words they study the bible they read books they have volumes and volumes of jottings access but they do not engage and so at the end of it they are disappointed they are angry at themselves and at god and they are almost tempted to say lord your word did not work and god says no 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 let's be fair show me what you did from january till now how many times did you tithe? say lord let's not talk about that one just did you bless me or not and god says look at it lord you didn't heal me from the pain and God said, did you do what was told to do? The day an instruction was given to celebrate and praise. When the Bible says rejoice in the Lord, how many times did you commit yourself to obeying it? Rejoicing not just as what you want to do, but as a key to your breakthrough. Are we together? Engaging the word. Let me tell you something. The Bible says the kingdom of God, that you have to become like a child. Do you know why? Um... In our civilized 21st century society where we are so right conscious we don't want anybody violating on anything I, I, you know don't violate me i'm a citizen i'm intelligent i went to school we are so right conscious it's very difficult for us to submit ourselves to the simplicity of the truth of god's word 
Are we together now? The word of God declares this is what must be done to receive this outcome. We argue, we explain intellectually, we bring all kinds of even spiritual and theological dissertations to explain away the simplicity. And God says, well, I'm not the one in need. You are the one who is looking for the solution. Look how difficult we make it to get the anointing. Look how difficult we make it to be prosperous. Look how difficult we make it to rise. Look how difficult we make it to get the power of God. Let me tell you the truth. The difficulty is that I think sometimes we preachers do not show people where to engage the word. We dispense the word. But at the end of it, we do not leave our sermons with the action point. The very point. And that's where members don't like. That's why we like prophecies a lot. Because it's an extension of our desire to refuse to act upon the word. Most members hate it when you commit to them and say, okay, I have shown you. This is now how you engage. And they say, no, no, can't you what is, prophesy this thing and let me move forward. I don't know how many people I counsel and I tell them, oh, apostle, this is what is going on. This is this and that. And I tell them, okay, uh, go to the media stand, pick one or two messages, listen to it and come back. I see how they turn and greet somebody and just move around. And highest, they check around and see um, if there is an opportunity for a joke. And they, you know, believers were spiritually lazy. Not because we don't fast and we don't pray. But that point of engaging the word. One of the greatest blessings of the life and the ministry of Bishop David Oyedeko in my life is that among other things, his nature of dispensing the word is such that he shows you what to do. Good master, the rich man said, what must I do to be saved? He wasn't saying, can I save myself? Lord, I know that it is within your character to partner with men. Where is my own part of the deal? We hate this talk. And you know, the Western world, may God bless them, we have received so much from them, but I think that this, this error of allowing God to do everything to show his sovereign, claiming that any, whether we add anything to it or not, it cannot be done. No, brothers and sisters, listen. The Bible says the heavens, even the heaven of heavens is the Lord. It says, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. There will always be a cooperation, a partnership between God and men for anything serious to happen. God is still sovereign. But he has chosen to limit himself so that men can also be reflectors of his glory. Please learn this. If anything is to change in your life, it is not all up to God. There is a part where you have access to light and then engage that light. Access to it and you engage it. Not access alone. We have done pretty well in understanding it. So as I dispense these truths by the grace of God, alongside all the men and women of God scattered in this nation and around the world, please, i like us to make a commitment that we will not only be hearers, will not only be receivers in terms of just hearing it into our ears, but that we will always search for the areas that will require our own partnership. Your partnership with the word of God does not negate what God has done. Your partnership with the word of God is what makes it your experience until you partner with the word of god it remains a prophecy or a promise it is your engaging the word that converts every promise to your testimony to your experience right from the foundations of the earth the lamb has been slain but the day you hand over your life to jesus that's the day salvation becomes your experience is that true the bible says by his stripes we are healed but the day you hear the word you receive it and engage appropriately the bible says again and again that the lord gives men power to prosper but this is not our experience for many of us in the body of christ the day we are willing to not only receive the precept but sustain the grace you see this is the, this is the true idea of grace i told you grace is like love grace has love has depth height that's how grace is there is a dimension of god's grace that is his unmerited favor 
or unmerited access. That means God kept that dimension exclusive to himself because there is absolutely nothing any man can do. For instance, the grace that saves men. Are we together now? There is nothing a man can do by his own strength to save himself. You can only partner. But there is a dimension of grace that is an empowerment to do. You will do the doing. It's just that the energy is not yours. Now, this is the dimension of the grace of God that the body of Christ has not understood. So he empowers you with a capacity that is more than what you ordinarily would do. Then he will grant you grace. So he supplies that grace. Are we together now? Yes. If I prophesy to Pastor Alpha now, I am operating, I am doing the speaking. It is willing. He's not opening my mouth. I'm opening my mouth by myself. But I am communicating an intelligence that is not given to mere men. That intelligence, you call it the gift of the spirit. You call it the prophetic. It's what the Bible calls grace. The power to do. The power to do. Bless you, sir. Are we together? If we begin to pay attention to engaging the things we already know, Brothers and sisters, I submit to you that our lives will be a thousand times better than it is in every wise. The problem, truly speaking, is not ignorance. I told you again and again and I'll continue to say it. I do not believe the body of Christ as a corporate entity is in ignorance. There are still greater lands to conquer in the spirit. There are still deeper dimensions that God will open us but you see, the system of God is he studies what you have done with what he has given you first. And that qualifies you to receive more. The parable of the five, two, and one talent. The Bible says that when he granted unto them stewardship, the one with five talents engaged. Correct? The one with two talents engaged. The one with one talent just buried it and left it there. When the master came for accountability, he said, well, um, you were a hard man. You like reaping where you don't sow. So I, I just thought instead of wasting my time, I kept it on the guy. I can go and remove your thing, collect your thing. The Bible says they collected it from that man and gave it to the one with five talents. So you see, increase is a product of doing something with the grace and the dimension God has given you. A pastor who will not pastor two members or ten members with all his heart and bless them and sits down pasting pictures of a million members is joking and dreaming a man of god who will not engage diligently god gives you ten thousand naira you mismanage it carelessly you do not find out the principles of god there's nothing in it for god there is no system of accountability and wise use of it you can't sit down and be mesmerizing on one million ten million god does not work like that are we together how about anointings there are men of god who admire their whole assignment is more power and god says calm down the grace i've given you is enough to save souls even if it can't heal sick bodies now show how you have engaged that grace enough to be able to open you up to other access and say lord what is salvation anybody can do it then god grants you the grace for intercession and he said, Lord, that one is too hard. I need power, direct, raw power to just prophesy or lay hands. And God says, no, you'll never work that way. Never work that way. God is revealing to us as simple as what I'm sharing is. God is showing us the reason why the issues of our lives don't change. It's not because the word of God has failed. It is because we seldom engage the word. We complain. We receive the word. Let me tell you what most of us do. You know, when, when people complain about certain areas, I ask them, have you listened to this, my teaching? Before I finish, they smile. And the person is not getting the result, and he will listen now. He say, ah, have you listened to um, 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 evidence of genuine intimacy? They help you finish it. <laughs> and you look at this guy, and you know that this guy doesn't know God for sure. Are we together now? Yes. Then you tell him, go and listen to it. And he plays around while he's just listening, distracted, doing a lot of things, gisting with friends, and then catching up. And then he tells you, sir, I just finished. 
there are there are certain teachings one hour teaching but i finish them in three days one hour teaching in three days because every five five minutes i'm stopping jesus something just entered my spirit i see i was studying something there and i almost jumped i almost jumped from my bed i said yeah yeah what is this he said i've not read this bible before i had to look at it again i found my bible drilled the thing again i don't know what i caught years ago that made me draw it but that ink was already fading i drew a fresh one to remind me that this is a fresh revelation what this is the bible opened up another light for me you finish a three hours message you never pause <laughs> to listen to learn even when something is very powerful you are just saying, wow just continue even the way you study in school brothers and sisters that's not how you do well you pause the psalmist will say sila pause ponder think write if need be pray if need be hallelujah if you don't like what i'm saying forget about results god is not a herbalist hallelujah yes. look at the aspects of your life you will see that there are certain areas you are in total ignorance but you will see that there are certain areas you already have the requisite knowledge truthfully speaking you already know what to do and the grace has been supplied but that spiritual nature, that laziness to comply accordingly and stay until results manifest that's what causes a lot of trouble what do you have in your house nothing except a cruise of oil and the prophet said that's it madam this is what i want you to do go why didn't the prophet prophesy vessels find your way to this poor woman's house say madam carry the energy you have left and go and borrow vessels he said borrow not a few when she came she met him and said sir i've done as you have said he said now you qualify for the next instruction close your door she would never receive the next instruction if she did not obey the last one is god speaking to us yeah and he said close the door when you close the door start engaging the oil the oil has capacity to give you any kind of miracle but when engaged and the bible says she kept pouring and the oil kept multiplying how about the widow in zarephath when the prophet came he said woman how are you fine sir water please ah i don't have much but i'm a generous woman and just bake the remaining bread for me he said we're about to eat with my son to die he said madam i'm i'm here not because i'm hungry i'm here so that you will survive so just handle this treasure is in eating vessels you better quickly come and feed me first the woman would have said you are such a heartless and stupid man you are the prophet they've been talking about you are a wicked man i would make sure i tell all those who have you are ah, ah, you see me and a child you don't even love women and start another funny women movement and say look there are prophets who don't they collect things from women and the bible says that she her engaging that thing all of a sudden she turned and discovered that the flower i'm showing you how this works how about three days they spent three days on the mountain and then the people said these guys are hungry there will be commotion here now and jesus said feed them said, ah, feed them even a year's worth of food no miracle could happen until there there was something from men and andrew found a young boy and carried his bread his, his lunch box as they call it and all of a sudden jesus lifted it and gave thanks and there was multiplication who taught you that things happen by themselves it is the dynamics of the workings in terms of god's part that is none of your business the bible says just as you do not know the way bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child nor the way of the wind that's how you cannot tell the work of god there is a part of this equation that you can never know it is sponsored by the wisdom of god for instance how your destiny helper will come is not your business your own is to engage what brings them your destiny helper can be a donkey 
a donkey needs to be missing for you to find Samuel. Doesn't matter. You think if God asks Saul to choose how he will receive the anointing, will he choose the, the disappearance of a donkey? Leave the acting to God. Your own is obey to the latter. And then you will watch God use anything to act that drama until you receive the anointing. Let me tell you where spiritual fatigue comes. When we want to know how the details. How will I pay my rent? Lord, I know you are faithful, but let's, let's be honest here. And God is saying, me, you are telling me to be honest? <laughs> Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes. So we don't engage the word at all. At all. Master, if it be thou, bid me come. And Jesus said, really? You want to see a new dimension? I've given you a word. Engage it. Come. All of them stood and said, oh yeah. He didn't say, Peter, come. He just said, come. Whoever walked. He said, come. And all of a sudden, Peter got up and walked and it was it it was surprising peter i'm walking and he was laughing and all of a sudden he was about sinking many people see the sinking part they don't see the part that jesus stopped him from sinking because he had to be responsible over his word peter's mistake at the point of obedience had to be addressed by jesus himself if peter sank jesus would be to blame after all jesus knew he was learning he said come Obey him and perish. And watch whether you will perish. Listen, learn this. I'm teaching you how faith works. Peter. He held him and said no. If you walked on your own. Like Jonah. Jonah was not helped. Because he was in disobedience. So the whale swallowed him. What bailed Jonah out was mercy. Are we together? These are the systems of the kingdom. This is how it works. Guys, go and preach in my name. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. And Jesus, ah, Jesus, won't you go with us? Say, no, no, no. Just go. I've given you my name. Say, where is it? Say, just believe. Keep going. And when they met the first sick person, um, my name is sir you saw me with that other guy he really sent us i'm not really sure about this i've not mastered it but i hope you are not offended if i prayed for you and peter laid hands on someone and all of a sudden to his shock peter said this thing is working let's do it again they returned back to jesus and said hi jesus even the devils that we fear so much were subject to us in thy name and jesus said that those are little issues let's talk about don't rejoice because of that be honest with yourself tonight is it really that god has not been faithful or you have not engaged the word you have been told that prayer and fasting are keys for true revival and spiritual power be honest with yourself have you engaged it with understanding don't sit down and say God is not anointing me. What do you think? The anointing is not a charm. You eat anything, anywhere, anyhow, anytime. No, sir. No, sir. How about breakthrough? There are many of us that want breakthrough. You hear people, the fact that God is doing it to one person. That per you see, do you know why we allow testimonies? The most important part of testimonies is not the result. It's the bridge between the problem and the solution. What did the person do? That's what your spirit should be sensitive about. For many of us, we wait till the end of it. Then we say, wow, you mean it? This is how I live my life. I don't sit down and tell God, Lord, create the changes. I say, no, Lord, I know. I give you all the praise. Show me my own part. And I stand up and start engaging it. Start engaging it. Start engaging it. What of our family members? Oh, God, will you keep watching us like this? And God says, no. Listen to Joshua Selman. Oh, God, I don't have the time. I'm, like I was saying, will you keep changing our lives? And God says, you are violating an ordinance. It's not going to change. 
Husband is standing. Wife is standing. Children are standing. Devil is destroying that family and wrecking their lives. They are arguing with one another and not interested in change. And God says, listen, when it comes to this thing, you can't help yourself. It is by a prophet that the Lord brought them out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. Even if you are a midwife, when you are about to give birth, you need another midwife to help you. That you are a midwife does not mean you can deliver yourself. Listen to this and understand. There are systems in the kingdom. A time comes when your personal anointing cannot give you the breakthrough you are looking for. Is God helping us? So, so many people arrogantly sit down and say, what is there? Is it not man of God? Man? Is it not the same Jesus that died for us? And they sit down there and their problems continue to compound and multiply. Whereas there is enough grace to trivialize that problem and reduce 10 years of problems in a moment. How long? Please help me. How long? Listen. I think it was in it was in Mina over the weekend we were preaching for um, Bishop. It was it was such a an awesome time with him and uh, Bishop Achaya. And I was sharing there. I said every anointing. Listen to me. Every challenge has the level of anointing that can address it. That you are anointed is not generic in results. The anointing is levels. When your challenges are higher than your level of anointing or the level of anointing close to you, you're already in trouble. There are three ways to come out of that thing. Grow in the anointing to a level where it can surmount it or trust God for access to personalities whose price in the spirit has granted them access to the level of grace that can throw away that problem. Brothers and sisters, in my little life, I've had the privilege of seeing what the anointing of the spirit how it can rubbish a situation that is within the level the jurisdiction of that anointing to solve it almost in a moment in a twinkling of an eye and that challenge is gone but i've also seen how frustrated an anointed man can be in the face of a challenge that is higher than your level of anointing it will rubbish you as if you have never met god believe what i'm teaching you if the mysteries of the kingdom are not engaged this family now will get up and say okay we have read in the bible and let me tell you what happens they begin to pray at least it's a starting point while they pray the holy ghost will take the mother or the father to a scripture and said study the life of saul of kish do everything they did and so they start studying a donkey was missing we for us an animal was not missing let me show you how the, the holy spirit helps people what is missing joy peace love breakthrough finances spiritual upliftment what did they do they started moving around and a servant said let's go and meet a man of god and the holy spirit says go and do likewise and they stand up and the holy spirit now tells them look there's a miracle service coming you see the word of god is becoming alive you are acting you can sit down at home and say god has brought it he said we should go for the miracle service and then give all kinds of flimsy excuses. It is raining. I'm not very happy. I didn't eat well. We were not joyful yesterday. Those things are the ways demon spirits keep people. But when you stand up as you are walking to come, heaven is recording your obedience and already scheduling the system for your miracle. Now, while you are coming, you are not even sure you will meet me, but you are coming anyway. While you are coming, you are not even sure you will have space but you are coming anyway. Are you seeing how this thing works? You come anyway and you sit down. And to your greatest shock, it was never for you to meet me. While the praise and worship is on, fire lands on your situation. And all of a sudden, you see someone calling you repeated calls and you have to avoid it. After Konya or whatever program, you just go and check and someone is calling you and saying, sir, remember we were supposed to strike a deal and it didn't work I, my spirit was moving me and you say god this is you let me show you how breakthrough happens breakthrough is worked is like the working of miracles you know how you cook food you don't drop onions 
pepper, fish, whatever it is you drop on the table and just shout and say, food, cook. No, you walk it. How do you walk it? You get a pot, firewood or whatever you are using. You start engaging. Sometimes it will be painful. As you are cutting something, knife can cut you. But you are more interested in the food than that temporary pain. It's by eating the food, the pain will be healed. So continue. And at the end of it, you have a lovely meal. And everybody who comes around wonders. Brothers and sisters, it is true that God gave grace, but you worked it. Are we together? This part of engaging the word is what I want. I want to drum it into our spirits. Nothing will change in your life just because you are a Christian. The word of God must be engaged. Hallelujah. Mm. Sacrifices, praise, several things. You must engage the word of God. There are some of us here, you have never sown a seed. I'm not saying to me, please don't get what I'm saying. But you have never, most of us is 95% receiving, 5% giving. You will be broke forever. That's the equation of poor people. Are we together? Yes. Give me. Your own is to collect. Lord, who is going to give me? And the Lord says, when are you going to create your own harvest? Have you not heard that if the cloud be full of rain, if you use a spoon to, spend, to send vapor to the air, you will spend your whole life. There are other people who don't allow challenges to last. They walk it till it gives up. They walk it till it gives up. I believe in results. I am motivated by results. I'm very, very outspoken about results. I'm not one of those people who lie to you and say it doesn't matter. It matters, sir. Results matter. Human beings were designed to remain motivated when what you engage produces. Is that true? Yes. When a woman gets pregnant, we are happy for her pregnancy and we can endure everything that the pregnancy carries provided there will be a child at the end. Is that true? Yes. When somebody, like the people sharing now, the lady that was sharing about the rigor that she went through, you know, now the most important thing is that finally the result is cleared and all of that. When you do things, the pain is when you put so much energy and time and then it does not yield results. This is what I want to cancel from our life. Hallelujah. Breakthroughs are predictable. Hmm. The help of God is predictable. The mercy of God is predictable. Results are predictable please my brother my sister let me beg us in the name of jesus to not sit down and hope things change i'm delivering you from it because after 10 years it will remain like that until it changes there are people who as of january this year wrote down a list of certain things they submitted it and asked questions lord how do i engage with you and right now God has ticked those things with results. There are others, all they do, every miracle service is, God arise for me, they drop it. Every instruction God gave from January till now, they have not done one. Lift up your hands, they won't lift up. Pray, they won't pray. Celebrate God, dance around in all these things. How can I be a child? We left these things, am I in a party? You see that? I told you about dancing. I don't like dancing. It's not anything I admire at all. But it's a, it's a key. You know how drugs are. How you swallow drugs. Sometimes when you swallow drugs, especially maybe a syrup, it can be so bitter. Especially when you are giving children. They are trying to deny, but your love keeps them there. Swallow it. When they swallow it, you pamper them later on. Swallow it. Do you pity the child? Oh yeah, I'll leave you like that. No. That's how it is. When you are obeying God, don't pity yourself. Oh. No, sir. Don't pity yourself. Abraham carried Isaac and said, up we go. When he kept looking at Isaac, I love you, but this one. See, 
be careful some of us get too emotionally connected to every area of our lives that is difficult for us to get to the next level you are emotionally connected to your money you are emotionally connected to your title you are emotionally connected to whatever that's why it is difficult for us to give up things to go high you are emotionally connected to your ministry my ministry The word of God works. It is reliable. This is how God has helped us by his mercy to be where we are today. And this is how he will help us to rise. But the key is that we engage the word. The key is that we engage the word. We don't sit down and make God responsible for everything and laugh around and fool ourselves. That's not faith. No, that's not faith. You must take inventory of your life. You'll be surprised to know that this is not even my message this night. I just came and this thing started boiling in my spirit. God is my witness whom I serve that I am passionate about seeing every one of us produce results. See, let me tell you, if you are a man of God and you are the only one rising, you are, you are a big failure doesn't matter what you whether it's car house no i rather fail as a person and you succeed your success will turn me into a success you see that let me be honest with you in all sincerity some of the things i teach you god has helped me in those areas so it's not like i'm teaching with any interest for myself I'm hearing a song in my spirit. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory, revive us. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to become a public speaker. You dropped it here. You have not engaged the word. You found a scripture, but you have not done anything with it. Lord, I want to become a man of God. And the only thing you are thinking about is starting a church. You know, sometimes sometimes the way the way we pastors behave is why we keep struggling forever brothers and sisters if you have eight days to cut a tree use seven days sharpening the knife use seven solid days stand in the sun and sharpen the knife i promise you you will hit that tree once and it will fall but you can carry a blunt knife axe and even if they give you 90 days, the tree will not fall. Hallelujah. Don't jump into things. Take out quality time to engage this thing. Engage this thing. God is calling, let me use you promise, come. God is calling promise into ministry, for instance. Go and start a ministry in Delta or start a ministry in U.S., and the, the only thing he does is just says, wow, I, I have learned enough. You just jump and go to Delta. And after five years, you are still roaming around as if God didn't call you. In that five years, those who engage the word are swimming in grace. Whereas you are there frustrating the grace of God. After 10 years, you now leave it and say you want to go and join military or police they say your age has passed you now say you want to join something else and your life and you blame god and god says no you refuse to engage the word i told you time never changes anything it only reveals time reveals whether you have been engaging properly or you have been wasting your time but god calls this guy now and he sits down lord what kind of ministry are you giving me Oh, this is this and he's studying he's learning he's building 
how do we do church finances in a way that you don't play pranks on people he's learning how do we build membership when members cross 500 how do you manage them you are learning how do i grow in the anointing when i have three to five sermons to preach every week how do i manage it with my family life what if i have a business running how do i manage it this gentleman works on himself i tell you he gets up and in one year start a ministry and all the forces that should be there are there everything done whereas another person is struggling and angry now this is anger is usually a product of frustration when you try to do things and you are angry and someone comes and it becomes effortless you see one of the proof of mastery is how effortless you are when you when you execute your plans effortlessly how are you doing it and people begin to coin explanations I don't want to live a life of a failure I don't want to number one it does not glorify God number two is going to waste my time number three there are many people connected to me in the spirit and my failure is going to affect them and destroy them and tear their lives into pieces one of my greatest fears if I have any is to walk and to walk with God for a long time and then to find that the things are believed are a lie that's why I'm meticulous about the construction of my beliefs Lord what I believe about finances is it accurate what I believe about the anointing is it accurate what I believe about fasting and prayer is it accurate I'm not ashamed though if at any point I find out there is a problem I'm not ashamed I, okay Lord let's look at this this is what I used to believe but now I'm seeing I'm learning this Wow amazing I'm growing and you are just let me tell you something there are many anointings to lift our family members but it is at the mercy of their engaging they only complain and insult they insult every anointing that can bring them breakthrough and they sit down and hope and wish they will learn you will be surprised and i don't mean to be sarcastic you'll be surprised to know how many people live within this vicinity who have never received of what god is doing it will be shocking and surprising are you hearing what i'm saying now the trouble is you are the one who is the patient who cries the patient or the hospital please talk to me when the patient insults the hospital does the hospital have tears the hospital will, will be busy treating those who are ready is that true lord i don't want to live my life as a failure results can be commanded this thing has been done before i'm not asking you where you grew up whether it's in your village or whatever i'm not asking what has happened in your life brothers and sisters this anointing we talk about is god's own ability but are we willing to engage it to produce the required result do it honorably and fail and the lord will do for you what he did for peter he held his hand and lifted him this is how god brought some of us my brother my sister it's not as if anybody signed and gave any guarantee and say start ministry if you need money we'll support you start ministry if you need members no 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 engaging by faith when people see the results they trivialize it sometimes people just talk all kinds of things but then they do not know that these things were engaged access is not enough the word the truth the mystery the principle the revelation must be engaged it must be engaged it must be engaged there is a part you have to play play it and watch god watch god arise for you as a mighty god and turn things around for you hallelujah do you believe what i'm sharing with you this thing does not take time it just takes commitment if i'm building a house 
listen and i have workers building a house for me and they are working they start working by six and by night there are those who do night shift and are working is that true and there is another lazy builder the workers come by 10 they close by two whose house will be built first you see that now the amount of commitment you give to this thing determines the result it will deliver to you there is no way around it i watch our fathers of faith and i'm surprised that with the kind of results they command you still see them engaging this thing they are working it with all their heart I was watching a video by Dr. Paul Enenche, and um, I'm saying this only because he said it. He was preaching this year at um, Bill Winston's ministry, and the Lord's Garden, the magnificent structure that they are building around the airport road in Abuja. And he said, just for the, the zinc alone, just to cover that place. They are spending 16 million US dollars. Zinc, not building. 16 million US dollars in a time of recession, debt free. Now, only a fool and a stupid person, 16 million dollars will more than answer the request of many ministries times 10. And this is what is used for zincing. So, a wise person says, This is the result I'm looking for. It is on earth already, happening in someone's life. So what do you do? You follow them who through faith and patience, what did he engage? Because he was not born like that. As at 1999, God's servant Dr. Paul Enenche was in one room in Abuja. There were people who were in the houses, they are still there today. Because they didn't engage anything. As at 99, he was there with his wife in one room. And all of a sudden rises to do something. There are people still there today. Brothers and sisters, if your life must change, it's not up to God alone. God's power is available. I have indoctrinated myself into being a responsible believer that nothing will ever change just like that. Hallelujah. What are you doing in partnership with the word of God? Do you understand the principle and the mystery that connects your challenge or your desire and the outcome do you understand then if yes are you engaging completely the future will show the mysteries and the things that koinonia is engaging is is not it's not something to blow trumpet and talk about now but the future will tell what is being engaged today you see that? Something I do not know is responsible for where I am. Something I know but have not believed is also responsible for where I am. Something I have believed but have not acted upon consistently is responsible for where I am. While you are seated, can you pray, cry to God? And say, Lord, I repent. I've been handing over the responsibility of my results entirely to you. But now I have heard you. I have seen it very clearly that nothing will change by itself. Are you praying? Some of you are looking at others. Forget about them and cry for your destiny. Apostle, I graduated since five years ago. Nothing has happened in my life. Show me what you are engaging first. Let me see what you have done. I thought I would have a job. Who told you you will have a job? Just like that? Show me the mystery you engage and the mystery you are engaging. Keep praying. Show me what you are engaging. Apostle, I expected that by now I should not be begging for food to feed my family. Show me what you are engaging. Or are you just waiting for things to happen? Show me. Apostle, I expected by now that my ministry should be strong enough financially. Show me what you are engaging. Let me see it. Apostle, I expected that by now I should be flowing 
at certain levels of the prophetic certain levels of the anointing show me what you are engaging sir i expect that i should be established by now i should have had a car and a house show me what you are engaging don't just wish for nothing i've been coming to church that's not enough what have you engaged pray nothing will ever change my brother my sister access to truth is not enough it must be engaged though access to truth is not enough apostle i've listened to all your messages on favor wonderful have you done what was said in the message consistently have you done what was said in the message having the readiness to judge every disobedience if and only when your obedience is complete let's not turn god to a game player playing pranks and 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 expect strange results pray you don't commit 30 minutes to god 30 minutes of your life the remaining part of your life and you want to carry fire which god are we talking about here prayer zero word life zero passion and hunger for spiritual things zero and you want to carry the anointing no sir no sir no sir no sir show me the time you commit to study show me the time you commit to sacrificing your sleep show me how you engage with the world show me the videos you watch show me the retreats the times alone that you spend with god and i can tell you why your result is the way it is it's not magic it's not magic it's not magic hallelujah listen to me you know let me say this honestly there are many men of god who see ministries that god has blessed with crowds like this and they do not know the enormous responsibility of pastoring thousands of people they think all about standing here sometimes you see me stand here let me confess and tell you truly most of the time i stand here most times i'm waiting on god is when i go back that i eat something there are times that the water you see me take here is the first thing that is entering my stomach as i stand i'm not saying that's what you must do after service you see me stand here to see people sometimes past 12 last week i went home to one don't want crowd if you cannot engage what is going to be there are we together now we want things without the responsibility attached to it you before you barely rest someone has woken you there is a challenge you when i came you saw me talking on phone and i called the protocol because they needed to respond to an emergency somewhere the people don't care that there is service listen let me tell you for every dimension there is a price i i wish I don't know how to make you believe this thing if you are unwilling to pay the price please forget about the dimension there are levels of anointing that when it comes to your life the moment certain things are not done it will destroy you it's better for it to have not come believe what i'm telling you jonah 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 entered a boat and people they started losing things and when they were checking they said what is making this boat heavy jonah said i'm the one who if i were not anointed i would have slept quietly but because of what i carried you are suffering for something now there are levels to not pray for when you are not ready for certain sacrifices oh god open my eyes are you ready to pray for everything you see because you will see things that would disturb you you are about to rest and you see a plane crash you are about to rest and you see a car crashing somebody and if it happens that way god will call you and say if your eyes were closed you are free but hence you cried and said open my eyes 
it's not about prophesying you know there is a responsibility oh god make me rich let me be your distributor and god stands and says as you are leaving your house now carry fifty thousand. my people are in need of it yes sir ha. oh god you said you want to be my steward oh yeah carry it and somebody comes and while you're talking says give five thousand to sam there are two little children give all of them one one thousand and you are acting like a fool and god says that's how my distribution system works the day you are not interested i close the heavens as simple as that i see a lot of greedy people admiring blessed people and think that there are people for over two months your offering is 10 naira or one year 10 years you drink is five for life how much is five for life and then you squeeze as an adult working class you come to church with 10 20 naira and drop it and say but what are these young people doing are you joking brothers and sisters let me submit to you if you ever try to sow seeds like me it may kill you in one month I'm telling you this sincerely. Lord, make me a millionaire. He says, are you ready to sponsor 70 children? He said, no, no, I don't want that. Oh God, you gave me only two. He says, that's it. Whoever wants it my way must be ready to do my bidding. Hallelujah. Time the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, time the glory. Revive us. Is God speaking to us tonight? Stop claiming things blindly when there is no sincerity. Oh God, give me a give me an international anointing. Okay. Do you have the grace to counsel, to preach three, five times a week? Can you be sleeping on the road? Can you be sleeping in the air? That becomes your new bedroom. Can you sacrifice that much? It's not all about putting water and clapping. It's a sacrifice. Let me tell you this. And I stand before the God of heaven. Thank God he's here. You are spiritual people. Less than 15% of my prayers is for myself. God is my witness. Less than 15% for myself father bless your people change their story a text message comes sometimes you don't see me reply your text message it doesn't mean i don't pray over it do you have the sacrifice can people come to your house and you carry your last meal and give them everything and then they don't tell you thank you and god said it's none of your business leave the issue is between me and you please listen to me oh these are the engagings it's not just about honor it's not just about sitting i'm ready to be a man of god are you ready for the criticism everything about your life is an open book everybody criticizes everything can you sit down hearing people criticize you and still sleep sound and get up in the morning some of you who are so sensitive I think you stole my phone now how can i be the thief and you are moving around and you want to do ministry you must be broken and you must be worked on by god is god speaking to us this teaching is very sincere most of us see blessed people and just admire them and i look at the greed that is in many people's lives greed you can sit down somebody is saying i've not eaten there is one thousand naira in your pocket you say go and meet apostle go and meet apostle he, 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 he likes giving just talk to him and he will give you and this is the person holding one thousand naira and you are saying oh god when will you visit me? and god even scholarship you will not see for where are we together this is how this thing works so send 200 naira recharge card to your mother you rejected it whereas somebody transferred 1000 to you and god says take 200 he say how, how many and it's not like there is an important discussion and god says i'm watching your heart you are not engaging this thing let me show us why we are really not getting results let's be honest with ourselves am i engaging the word Cain got angry 
because of abel's result and god said no no this is not about abel if you do what abel did to the latter will you not get his result hear me it doesn't cost god to raise help for you there is something we are not doing that is keeping the heavens closed there is something a man of god is not doing that's why his ministry is not growing there is something a father a mother a brother a sister is not doing that's why we are perpetually in lack and suffering and penury every guy that comes to me lives in two weeks five guys have come sister calm down could there be that there's something you are no 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 there's nothing wrong with me yeah, i just happen to have bad luck with stupid guys five of them stupid that means something in you is attracting them because you draw your kind to yourself the body of christ likes passing blames we blame witches we blame pastors we blame government we blame our parents let me tell you your miracle starts the day you get a chair or go behind one tree and sit down i'm surprised seeing many gentlemen their lives are not moving they are not doing anything after coinonia you're just looking at any sister who can i now marry you this one that time is going and there's nothing happening you see what we're saying A gentleman who will go and sit down with a biro and your bible and a tape recorder Shaka tokata. lord it can't be this way the word of god is coming every day why is my life like this i am 31 i am 35 i am 40 i'm seated i can i have to beg for gary lord i love you something is wrong and all of a sudden you come there your friend is calling say leave me alone no, you better leave me alone say is, is your did you renew your dstv say don't near my house you have been deceiving me for many years and you sit down and all of a sudden the word of the lord comes this sitting down is what we don't do we stand up moving around this hustling life pillar to post one thing is needful sit down first stand up as instructed don't move around just like that he, he, see the labor of the fool the engaging of a fool weary at every one of them because he doesn't know the road to the city not every action is profitable it is the action that is done in obedience and through understanding apostle i'm anointed i'm surprised i organize a meeting and nobody comes there is something you need to know more about the anointing it's more than laying hands apostle people come to my church they receive miracles and go back that means there is something you need to know about leadership you have done well knowing about miracles but there is something you do not know about leadership please blast in tongues for one minute and say lord i'm tired of this level i'm tired of this level I'm tired of this level. I'm tired of this dimension. I'm tired of this face. Lift your voice and pray. Shabakata katoka sepra kata kota shekata. Lekata prosata katoka shekata pakarakato sikata. Lord, I know you are ever faithful. Pray. I take responsibility tonight. There is something I am not engaging adequately. Zekete koto soto kata prakatash, lekete broske sekete mara kato sebriada. Hela masena na malena mashe ana na 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 na. hallelujah please sit down the lord has brought before us several keys mysteries secrets 
that are responsible for certain outcomes brothers and sisters is up to us there are lazy people waiting for others to enjoy to engage it then they enjoy the benefit you cannot sit down and be dependent forever our little children should be the ones waiting but an adult oh you know that thing they say in house Ale Baka Musamu. so while you are engaging i'm resting after all you'll be too kind to leave me like that mm -hmm. The Bible says right from the days of John the Baptist even until now the kingdom suffered violence and the violent would take it by force someone who will say no way Lord I will force what is my portion from the realm of the spirit life does not deliver anything to careless less as fair if it happens it happens no everybody who receives anything worthwhile are those who stand in life and force their own force it down this passive i know no one day things will happen we are not angry enough that's why we have not broken the back of certain things in our lives we are learning i've shared with you there are some of us the reason why we are not getting results in our lives is because we ignore god I've shared these principles. You don't ignore God and prosper, sir. Okay, um, I'm a businessman. Me, I'm not into ministry. Ignore God and see. Ignore God and watch the devil rubbish your life. Many business people don't honor God. They honor business. They honor men. But they don't honor God. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path how many people start walking and they they don't have time for god time for the house of god no time for the things of god i'm a bit busy lord you know that i'm i'm engaged and god says hey you are engaged and then the devil comes to rubbish your life and your work one sickness arises and just destroys you somebody in your office looks at you and says let me see how you will rise to the next level and that's it is they that know their god that shall be strong and do exploits to the fierceness in today's world does not require guessing about god you must know god hallelujah i've said it humorously only god can tell the number of charms and shrines and herbal places that have my names on their altars only god knows the people who project me as i sleep to make sure i don't wake up this man you see is here for a long time very long time is that true yes some of us have refused we have been drumming mental development and we have refused so we are mediocre where we are it's amazing how when the word of god comes people exempt themselves say this part is not for me this is the part for me no all scripture was inspired how many all scripture god can be talking about mental development and you can say me for me i'm a man of prayer and fasting leave that one for um mental development all those who want to become professors and lecturers for me this is a vineyard and you are there and you find out that because your mindset is thinking wrong regardless of your results L listen being around the truth and not engaging it can destroy you because it will bring about familiarity you are familiar with every man of god every program everything yet it will not bless you those that were close to jesus ran away they were not getting anything nicodemus came and met him once in the night and received something that changed his life mental development mental development upgrading your mind expanding your capacity to be relevant in today's world and grants you the opportunity to glorify Christ how about people who do not understand authority this is the mystery they have not engaged 
and that's why the devil whips them left right and center left right and center they have no honor no regard for anybody on earth some of our parents are like that like that just say, hey, so so man has come to town which man so why are people going to go and see him what's the spell you see you see and, and they start debating it and the person debating is poor and broke and sick and suffering he does not know that it is for this cause many are weak many are sick and many do sleep he sits down there and a miracle is close to him sometimes in his neighborhood and he hears Reinhard Bonke preaching and laughs he said ah is that the wise man you were talking about what is this one he says they said Baba is about to pray for the sick well, no, no, mind those people and his kind of case is what is being called and they are being healed and Reinhard Bonke will go back and the proud man who does not understand authority sits down there look the way we have cheated ourselves because of ignorance of the systems of God cheap victories that have been complicated through ignorance look at students here you heard the testimony of one of our ladies last week no school fees no nothing and the result comes out and you are graduated <laughs> There are some of us where our lives are the way it is because there is no excellence to anything we do we are born again but everything is mediocre everything everything average mediocre local champions i'm a tailor like who well i'm, I'm here i'm patching here and there i lord i need increase and god says increase your capacity be excellent be excellent so that you can now start making clothes when you make a millionaire's clothes you get a millionaire's reward when you make clothes for somebody who gives you 500 today 200 tomorrow 800 today to pay 3000 and you are arguing as if arguing and arguing and fight and forgive the person but you still suffer you get tired and say lord i've started i've left this level i've challenged us what's been excellent hallelujah excellent some of us relationships this is the mystery we are not engaging we know it but we are not engaging it hallelujah relationships honorable is here um I, I don't mean to embarrass him but this man of god that you see forget that he's a politician i told you politicians are my friends i'm intentionally friends with politicians because whoever controls power controls what happens I'm not one of these, these foolish people that throw away politicians away. They are my friends. Oh. They are my friends. They are my friends. Yes. They are my friends. Hallelujah. Jezebel wanted to destroy the people in the land of Elijah. The first thing she did was to marry the king. To make sure she was at the seat of governance. Then she now push Ahab say, oh yeah, wait, I'm the one in charge. See that? A true apostolic grace must be able to minister the life and the power of God even at the level of governance. I went for movie crusade. An honorable is here. Do you know, brothers and sisters, this man as great as he is with his status, and all of this he came for the crusade with his wife stayed like two days together and returned back when I go to Yola sometimes with his own car carries me in his own Jeep and drives around praise the Lord relationship if he calls me and says his wife is having a headache and you call me There, there were calls but let me show you how i will respond relationship that's what brought docas back to life when docas died she was a woman who while she said i can't preach but i can sew madam you are cold let me make sweater for you when she died the widow said no way 
These wicked men, they are all preachers, but they don't take care of us. You better raise this woman back to life for our sake. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, if he becomes a governor, I'm still his friend. Is that true? Yes. Access. That's why when he comes like this, we honor him. What is all this? Everybody is equal before God. It is true based on your understanding. System that we do not know that destroys us and rubbishes our lives because we do not know. Are we together? Yes. Relationships. I told you the easiest way to rise in life is relationship. Everything money can pay for, relationships can pay for it. If you use money to pay for everything in life, you are not wise. There are things relationships should pay for. You can't pay for the house, but a relationship can give it to you. I, I spent time um, the week before last to talk extensively on relationships. I'm not going to go back, but please listen to that message. I can spend my time talking to you about relationship. That's what happened. John the Baptist had the privilege. His mother, listen, John the Baptist did not study what happened around his birth. When Mary received the prophecy of the angel, she knew it was a strange thing. She had to search for another woman who had a strange experience like her. To be able to relate with her and she found out she had the gist of elizabeth and how john came and when they met their babies left when john was born he was older than jesus six months of course at the wilderness there when he met jesus for a while he was walking with jesus but offense came in because some of Jesus' disciples left and became his disciple. And he left and then he now went trying to look for relevance. He went and started lambasting Herod. Because he did not know the protocol of the palace. He thought that the palace is the same thing as the wilderness. The way you speak in the wilderness is not how you speak in the palace. There are principles, all preachers, that rubbish themselves in high places. And they call it speaking for Christ. There is the wisdom and intelligence. When Paul was in the Jerusalem council with the Sanhedrin, he spoke as a Pharisee. He said, look, 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 look. I can speak as this and that, but look, now, there are Pharisees, Sadducees. Let me bring a point of divide. I'm speaking based on my authority. I'm a Pharisee. Spoke about the resurrection and that place caught fire. Relationships. Many of our parents today know too many people to be looking for house at their age. Is that true? They didn't raise anybody. They didn't lift anybody. All their friends are successful people. They watch television and tell you, this guy was my friend. Do you know that uh, General Buhari was my classmate? Do you know this one was my classmate? Do you know that Kofi Annan, we drank tea together? Oh God, why have you not been there? What has that relationship done for you? This is why when we do things in church like turn to one another and give them a nice hug and you are frowning. The, this investment you are making now of rejecting people will be waiting for you in the future. You will see the person you frowned at in power and glory and now you will not have the same access again. It is cheaper now than later. You've heard me say we will all be great. But the greater part is that we will all know ourselves. That's the most important part. So that what I do not have a Jimmy can give me at a platter of gold. Hardship. Because there is no relationship. Hardship. Because there is no relationship. As a ministry by the grace of God, God has helped us to enjoy certain privileges with people, with institutions, because of relationships what have you refused to engage that is punishing you and is destroying you what have you refused what do you know and have been wishing will work for you but you have not engaged it truly hallelujah it's one of the things I respect a lot about my dad. 
my dad understands relationships in a strange way he knows almost anybody everywhere if he's a policeman he will scroll down there has to be one policeman he gave bag of rice some years before if it is prisons if it is customs if he's a carpenter even if he's a truck he does not have that stops he knows a mechanic somewhere he knows the one that fixes Peugeot he knows the ones that fixes these relationships now it's costly that's a very busy life but it's only busy until the day you need those people one call and they tell someone else yes sir but another you keep knocking forever and you say God help me God I helped you since you misuse the opportunity hallelujah praise the lord what have you been paying for that relationships would have paid if you engage them how long will you continue hating people and talking about them as though you are going to live in this world alone how long are you ready to continue holding grudges when will you forbear and excel there are ladies over my dead body my mother I will never talk to her but the blessing in your destiny is in the mouth of that woman justified she did something wrong but can you ignore everything so that you step into another dimension hallelujah I am passionate about engaging the word I am passionate I studied the life of Job because I want to be very prosperous and I studied his life I saw things that Job did that if Job died poor God would have been a wicked person I found treasures I said ah this is what Job did not the obvious things we see there were things that Job did what are you doing some of us these are little children they never look at you and smile they look at you and they are afraid you call them children remember you are not going to die young you have received the anointing for long life the children you laugh at today you are only 10 years older than them or 20 years or 30 years they will soon grow and become adults too and occupy positions of influence and you will see that a mistake you did 30 years ago will haunt you and your children and children's children is God giving us wisdom this, these are the systems that these are these are these are success systems these are success systems I'm, I'm challenging us this engaging part is what came in my spirit today to talk to us about engage the word engage the word engage the mysteries you know and stay there stay there till it produces don't engage once and complain do you know there was a time in my life I did everything but there was no result? Everything to be done, I cross-checked and it was correct. Once you have done everything, leave God's part to Him. So when people are complaining and say, Apostle, what am I missing? I say, you are not missing anything, just stay there. Just like that, yes sir, stay there. God is watching your growth and He knows that if those blessings come, you don't have the spiritual capacity to take it yet. So He keeps you. And then overnight, you wake up and step into a dramatic dimension of the anointing. And they say, where did he come from? He's always been there waiting. I've been sowing seeds. Continue. It says not to be weary in well-doing. For we will reap in due season. There is a due season if you fail not. If you fail, the due season will come and pass. And you will not see anything. I will never stop sowing seeds. I will sow like a madman until the day the harvest comes. I will never stop engaging my passion for God. I will never stop building capacity. I will respect every man of God and every authority that is producing the results that I'm not producing. Never will I open my mouth to talk about somebody who is producing results that I'm not producing. It's pride of the highest order no matter how simple and how cheap they sound they are engaging something that is producing my results I have a meeting next year and God has granted me the privilege 
and I'll have the privilege to be meeting with, I think maybe for the first time in my life, one of the billionaires in the world, a Nigerian. I look forward to that meeting. I'm preparing for it like I'm writing jam. He said, ah, ah, Apostle, for what? This dishonor we carry is why we never rise. If I sit down with a billionaire and he talks to me for five minutes, I will go down my knees and say, thank you, sir. Because it will change my ignorant mind for God's sake and deliver me from the things that have pegged me and my lineage at certain levels. I look forward to that meeting. I've been praying and fasting about it. I say, Lord, this meeting cannot be once. We have to be friends. We have to be what? Yes. Because a friend sticks close to, than a brother. This brother, sister, thing, friends. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know we think it doesn't matter what I just said. Look at our lives. Look at our families. Have you not seen the rules were broken for ages? God is faithful. Our lack of understanding his system is what is punishing us. Apostle, why are you teaching all this? So you can serve God. Let my people release them from this pain so that they will go and serve me. I want, they are, for as long as they are working in the farms, for as long as they are suffering in Egypt, they can't serve me. Say, let my people go so that they will do what? It is my desire to see some of our brothers a few years from now. That when others get up in the morning and are running helter skelter, you are there with your family. You made a way. That's the worship song playing. When our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. And visitors come to your house discussing survival and you are discussing kingdom we have allocated 10 million to this ministry there is a mission agency we heard that these people are passionate about souls and they say are you a pastor he said no i'm just a brother in church i have been trained that my entire life is about a, the kingdom he said are you you, meet, you better stand up and make ends meet a luther continue i said no not in this house we have demarcated this house through understanding exempted forever from certain things Someone comes to your house and says, what's that noise I'm hearing? Say, we have a vigil today. Say, ah, which prophet is coming? Say, no, priesthood, our house, we have vigils. Say, are you not aware that uh, you have to rush? Say, no, 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 God is faithful. God is faithful. And you are praying. And they say, what are you praying for? Souls. Say, ah, what about, uh, what about ends to meet? Say, ah, God, God, as we settled that long ago. This is, in this house, it is kingdom. Do you think this is possible, what I'm saying? You better believe it. Otherwise, you will be another angry person. This is what I want my life to be all about. Let no one deceive you that your whole life should be spent looking for money. Then serving God small on the way is a cost. Did you hear what I said? It's a cost. You can live a happy life where you sit down and teach your children by yourself because you have time. Junior, come. Daddy is about to teach you how to tithe. Have your envelope. Have your own. You put your own one million dollars. The young boy put his own hundred dollars there. He's learning how to tithe. Daddy, what do we do with this? Son, this is called the law of open heaven. Say after me. And he murmurs whatever he says, but he's learning. By the time that child is 10, he's a millionaire by himself without your influence. And one day he says, Daddy, I was sleeping and I had a voice. And the Lord told me to donate half of my wealth to a mission agency. He says, son, do it fast. Because his father has understanding. Do it fast. Daddy, I thought I was going to become a doctor. But I had a voice in the night saying I'll be a great man of God. Don't worry, you are covered. Not this morning ceremony. Says, so you are going to the vineyard now. Who is the sponsor? No, that's, that's the mindset they carry about preachers. The moment you say you are preaching, people just look at you and they, they have a valedictory service for you into a life of pain. No, sir. Hallelujah. 
one day you get up and carry your family where are you going to we are going for a hillsong conference in australia you mean it yes yes sir we are going there and we're sitting down he said you mean this is how your whole life he said this is how it is so i don't know about you i so thank god i'm a man because you can design the life the way ladies don't feel bad just just pray that's that's it i will never spend my life bowing to the statue of nebuchadnezzar no sir no sir How can I call on your name and end up in shame? No way. No way. How can I bow down before you and then bow down before a man? No way. Because you are my God. Men may not believe it. They think we are jokers. But you are my God. You are, you are, you are, you are. You are my God. Romans chapter 2. Eight and verse 18 let me round up it says for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time brothers and sisters I am not unaware of the pain you are going through I'm not a fool I know that there are constraints there are pains that you are going through but my Bible greater than any constitution of any republic the Bible says for I know I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory doxa that shall be revealed the weightiness of god in us in us the bible says for the earnest expectation of your family of your lineage not just of creation listen some of you are listening to me and the devil is telling you don't mind that man it has never been done in your lineage go and study it and god says you are the one i'm raising home i'm raising you to make a spectacle to principalities and powers that causes can be subdued that yokes can be broken listen god is looking for men that he's looking for a generation he said this is the generation that seeks thee let me tell you there is a generation that will seek god as a vocation not now there are individuals there are churches but there will come a generation an age range where what they do is to seek god church services every day every day not just on sunday as one convention is finishing another one is starting and you can attend it because you have conquered the forces that keep men busy bowing down to the status of nebuchadnezzar what to eat what to wear that's what drives people to walk in the morning you are supposed to walk but the purpose is not just make your ends meet it's a revelation of the glory of the father disabuse your thinking from this servitude mentality god wants to raise us but it will happen by engaging his systems lift your voice and begin to pray lord i exempt myself 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 through knowledge shall the just be delivered there is a generation that will serve God there is a generation that will seek the God of Jacob not seeking money not seeking power we will conquer wealth we will conquer all the things that distract men so that the only time that will be left is in advancing the course of the kingdom and improving the living of men pray listen 
I look forward to times where our doctors will set up hospitals that are 10 times the size of Shika and everybody who comes half the price was already covered by a kingdom financier yes sir for a hospital not a church not a church you meet someone and there is a surgery happening that person is about dying because they don't have money here comes a kingdom financier what did you say is happening i love god and i love his creation too much please treat the person listen let me tell you this please don't ever think i'm just making noise this is prophecy it will happen you 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 may throw yourself out but it will happen hallelujah a time in the history of the church where there are men who walk to reveal the glory of god they are so blessed they don't discuss money again hallelujah i heard about the net worth of one very funny person like that and the thing pained me because i read an article about a church that was building their cathedral and the amount was so meager they borrowed loan from a bank and the bank was harassing them harassing the pastor they wrote all kinds of things and insulted the man and they said the man plunged into depression and died i think it was last week or week before last when i had that thing it pained me i said in the vision god showed this guy death was not part of it all it was something that killed this man yet there is someone answering the kingdom of darkness and has more than hundred times what that church is praying for please don't tell me that is the will of god get up in the morning you are doing this job today you are doing this one tomorrow god calls you say sorry god i have to pay my child school fees no sir some of our parents may not have gotten it right we don't have to mock them but you have to stand and say lord for the sake of my children i will pay this price lift your voice and pray lord i pay the price if my father if my mother knew better they would do better but now that i know this oh god i will pay the price i will pay the price lift your voice i will pay the price no joking with my life i will pay the price i will pay the price lift your voice and pray engaging the systems of the kingdom not only believing them not only having access to them hallelujah hallelujah i like you to lift your voice and cry that the spirit of disobedience the spirit of spiritual laziness that does not allow you engage the word you just keep wishing no no sir no ma lift your voice and pray lord the grace to put the word to work lord i confess i've not been a faithful tighter pray i i stop playing games with my destiny tonight lord i confess my prayer life has gone down my word life has gone down lord i confess i'm not serious with my destiny as a gentleman god has called me into ministry but i'm not giving it the attention it requires they're admiring people fighting people gossiping and trying to make a name for myself i settle down with destiny 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 hallelujah listen let me give you a little assignment when you go back home tonight i want you to write specific goals things you are doing this issue of doing everything mm -mm. i'm on a mission to rising financially i'm on a mission to knowing god i'm on a mission to accessing the healing anointing don't just study randomly and move. no write things the lord is calling me into ministry and he told me the ministry is starting february next year but from now till february i am engaging this i need to know the mystery behind speed i need to know what keeps members you write it and sit down 
I've, I've not been faithful in tithing. That means I've not had a revelation about it. The issue is not just to carry money and start running. The issue is to sit down and say, this month, I'm going to take a course. I'm going to take a study on it. Who has written books in this area? And you sit down. Who has done a very comprehensive, balanced, not hungry, manipulative teaching on it? And you study. That's how you grow. You carry your issue of concern, put it before you. Close your eyes to every other thing until that mountain crumbles. Don't leave it. That's how winners work. But all this one of try today, if it's too hard, you turn this direction, you will still meet it there. Stay there and win. Did you hear what I said? Stay there and win. Let me tell you in my little life, I can tell you there is no mountain that is not surmountable. It's a lie. Don't listen to anybody that talks to you like that is not your friend. Don't go near them again. I want you to write a list of the mountains before you. Pray, dance, but sit down. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Shakato, katakata. You read a book. You check something. There's got to be a way. Then you enjoy the beauty of triumph. Brothers and sisters, triumph is sweet when you conquer your challenges. You live as if Satan does not exist. There is such a realm. It is my desire with all my heart, among other things that God will bring, not just this ministry, he has helped in a measure, not just me, but every one of us, not just to a level of spiritual awakening. I, I'm trusting God for an avalanche of, do you know how you conquer poverty? Like, you put it under your feet. This is what God would do in this ministry and with people. And you watch people serve God. All this obsession for money that runs people to hell. Ladies marrying for money. Brothers doing this. People living God for money. All kinds of nonsense. And we can focus on God. Then there will be prayer altars afresh. That seek God for him. Not for what he can bring. There will be men and women who can study. There are some of you, there are books locked up in your spirit for nations. But suffering will not let those books come out. Because all you are thinking now is, oh God, let me just look for something to eat. We depress ourselves and have high blood pressure to death. Whereas there is a way, a noble way where you spend your life at the end of your life like david you say like like um paul you say i have fought the fight good fight i have finished my course you have poured yourself like a drink offering nothing left again are we together the last prayer point and we're done for this night i like you to cry and say god hold my hands and insist that I don't stop until I get to the, des the place of destiny. Hold my hands. I ask you to. He held the hands of Peter. Some of you in your, in your, in your, in your quest to obey God. You have seen things no dive in your life. Cry and say, Lord, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands, oh God. Stop me from sinking and lift me up. Use my life as a spectacle to show what you can do with the anointing. To show what you can do with influence. To show what you can do with men and women who are passionate about agenda. I will search for you and I will find you. I will find you with all my heart. I will lift my hands to you in worship and I will worship with all my I'm leading a generation to seek him Lord we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship listen rounding up before i make the altar call listen to me i want to encourage hold on guys i want to encourage every brother here you're a brother when you go back home this night 
please please do this go and get a notebook sit down use this weekend please thank god there, there's there's holiday today tomorrow sunday even if it's one hour please just do what i'm asking you to do find somewhere alone everybody say alone not with your neighbor not group find somewhere alone whether it's one forest somewhere or outside near one tree one dam somewhere and just sit down with a notebook and a paper don't carry any book just go and stay there and say holy spirit i'm rededicating my destiny not my life to you you are the only one who can help me this ministry you are giving me this business this life this family is too much for me i am ready to receive your wisdom and you it will shock you what god will do for you in that retreat don't do it sitting in your room or your parlor no 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 find a place go somewhere if you see someone there find another corner somewhere one grass somewhere one uncompleted building of a school somewhere just hang around somewhere even if it's for one hour take a time of inventory the way i'm living my life am i going to make it are we together this is called self-supervision sit down the way i'm running my family are we going to rise this way the way i'm living my life am i going to be great this way the the time i am giving god will this time really birth his glory in me and then come up by the spirit with resolutions the lord will show you areas the lord will show you things ladies you can do it too i'm not saying it's, it's just for guys and then ladies lazy around this is everybody's destiny carry a notebook flog it out somewhere let me tell you the second thing i want you to do please hear me and don't be offended with what i'm telling you you have to search for the names and numbers of certain people and delete them out of your phone i repeat you have to search for the names comma and the numbers of certain people and do what delete them out of your phone i promise you being a friend of everybody will not give you your destiny are we together there are people who are not bad they are not demonic but they are too distracting to accommodate them their 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 distraction to your destiny is not worth it let them be the day you miss, you can always recall them but for now you are on a project some of you may need to trust god to get a place whether off you or get a small room with somebody you, you just need to pay whatever price it will take to allow you build this great destiny are we together yes every time you see things around your life not working the way god orchestrated don't sit down and discuss get into the place of prayer immediately there is war happening in the heavenlies there is a clash of spirits they are claiming your body listen do you know that when moses died watch this when michael came to carry the body of moses he found satan too satan wanted to use the body of moses enter it and resurrect as moses are you getting the point now resurrect as moses and start bringing error to people and he needed the body desperately and michael said no 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 i'm not going to drag with you the lord rebuke you how many people saw your mother in a dream a spirit carried the face of your innocent mother landed it in the dream of her enemy and she got up and said i knew it i knew it joshua selman's mother is a witch this one i saw it the woman came with a knife how many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards and and this is what many prophets see and because they do not have discernment are you getting the point now they now say i saw who some this and that and that and that is it not in your bible when a a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of samuel to prophesy I refuse any other spirit from influencing my life. I, I, I don't have time for that. 
I cannot be a victim for the, the failure that is orchestrated. Look at Job. One more scripture to prove this to you. Job, a man who loved God and eschewed evil. But the Bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens. Job was not there. Oh. A man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you. Your children are on the way. Thunder strikes them. You just finished furnishing your house. Thunder strikes it. Your cattle die mysteriously. Notice, all the deaths that happened, there was one, one people left to come and testify. Is that a testimony? Job, I'm the only one who is alive. This is what happened. And then the meeting was held again. And he said, let's touch his body. Ah. So a meeting can happen. Watch this. Let's destroy this family. And they conclude it. You snore your way through the morning. Wake up. And that's the last time you know peace in a long time. You are a victim. Your body is only a victim. Tonight, this is the, this is the theme of this miracle service. Let me tell you. When these spirits clear out of the way, you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you. All of a sudden, you who nobody would call you, you will receive a call. The last time you spoke with that person was five years. He did just call you. The Holy Ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call. Every time they want to think about you, a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering. And when you come to us, men of God, we say, it's okay, don't worry, things will change. One day it will go better than that. No, 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 no. That's why I told you, you must insist tonight. You must insist. You are mighty on your throne. Two things. There are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Three things. Number one, covenants. 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 You reign... You ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation, listen. A man can wear the inner wares of a woman. Watch this. And be moving on the street. And that man returns back. And blessings keep following him. A very stupid man. But good things are happening in his life. Let me tell you why. It's because of the covenant of the fathers. There were people who signed an agreement and said, Lord, we give this nation to you. Anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing. And so, a woman, a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive. In Nigeria, you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die. Was it the knife that killed him? Are the doctors so daft? Let me tell you what our forefathers left with us. Ready? This is what they left. They went to mountains, valleys, regions. Listen. And all kinds of ancestry. We can fake it and pretend. Listen. I'm a new creation person. I've read the Pauline epistles. Are you getting what I'm saying? I understand the grace of God and the new creation realities very well. But I know God. And I understand his ways. Are you following me now? Please come, two people, very quickly. So that any two, no, no, sit down, Pastor Fami. I promise you can come. Come, stand here, stand here. Watch this. In my example, this guy is a thief. This guy is a wrong occupant. Watch this. If this is my handkerchief, and Ken comes to quickly steal it, the moment he hears the, my footsteps, what will he do? He will run away. Because he's a what? Thief. But if somebody comes and meets promise 
and say promise give me 10 naira i will give you this handkerchief and promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief is there a contract there is there a covenant there if he sees me coming will he refuse because you see the realm of the spirit is a legal realm are you getting what i'm saying now so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when samuel ajayi crowder and many other christians came they brought the gospel of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we we're going to Yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and God began to reveal to the church around here that look, there are, there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed. This is what they did. They began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries. Listen to me. They brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city. They loved them and the children blessed the land and said we release you from the cause of our fathers. It's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants 
are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the, of the covenant even on the victims please believe what I'm saying I prayed for too many people I've ministered to too many people I'm not telling you stories I'm telling you what I was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people Psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have I not said verse 6 here yeah, God and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience Deuteronomy when you read I think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day. That you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. It's tied to your obedience. The Bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected. When it is complete. Disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives. Don't let anybody lie to you. That when you disobey God nothing happens. No. It's not about God doing it. It's about the laws in the spirit. They will not change. They didn't start with the Old Testament. Those laws predate our dispensation. Are we together now? So tonight, I want you to look at your life very carefully. Especially for those of us who have come. Have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness? in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happened let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen I tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time I remember our school getting ultimate power so that we we'll watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the army. 
that this situation in your life must end. I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies. A testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life. Any other spirit must create problems. Tonight, daddy, mommy, sisters and brothers, there is need to deal with certain things in our lives. I saw poverty in my family as if we offended God. Coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background. Your name can be Solomon. You will remain poor until what needs to be addressed That's why I told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance. Listen, as we begin to pray, many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone. Really, when you understand this, you will know what a miracle is. A miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs. This is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose lose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirit heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah Mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne. I'll never forget one time I was praying, praying seriously. I was in the spirit and I had a vision. I saw that there is a tree that is close to um, where I stay and I didn't see that tree again. I just saw a great beast like, like, a, like a being. The tail was a snake. The eyes were big like human head. Imagine this head now like an eye. Two of them, one here, one here. And the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring god's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 five points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1,000 pages, but a lifetime, you can't read half of the Bible because there is a spirit stopping you. If this was a novel, some of us would say, take this, I will bring it for you next week, Friday, and you will exhaust it. But from the day you were born, the day you were born, till today, you have not read up to one third of the Bible. One time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later, 
Remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward. You started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance. After you read it, you now threw it away. Because you cannot help yourself in the flesh. It takes the anointing of the spirit. That's why he sends carpenters. That's why he puts miracle services like this. So that you can come under the influence of God's power. How about genotype issues? SS. You get up and find out you are SS or AS. Do you know the Bible never mentions the issue of SS or AS? Are you aware of that? That thing was a technology that was fabricated by Satan. To stop people from getting married. You see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come. And then one spirit just brings one, one demonic report called SS. And they say, sorry, we can't join you. Because you are going to kill your children. For that devil is a liar in this place tonight. I'm challenging you because when we rise, we are going to pray. The miracles will start as we pray. You've got to be angry with yourself. And say, no, enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are come to Mount Zion. Where there is an innumerable company of angels. Where there is the blood of sprinkling. The blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant. That speaketh better things than any ordinance. The good news is that Jesus has paid the price. Our job is to enforce that victory. Are you getting my point? We enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescue the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescue the earth lives in me Sing it two more times with faith in your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Jump up on your feet and sing it one more time. Same power. Conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Listen, deliverance, therefore, is a separation. It's the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences. The spirits that attempt to influence your life. The legal separation. Brothers and sisters, when that happens to you, then you will see gates open by themselves. When that happens to you, you will see realms of favor. All these things people pray on. You must challenge those spirits. You must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family. And God is ready for us tonight, I tell you. God is ready for us tonight. Lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word. The body without a spirit is dead. 
the body without the spirit is dead now i realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation lord i now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar, the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft, any generational cause. One more time, sing it. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Lives in me, lives in me. Same power, same power that conquered the grave. Lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, say. up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying challenge the spirit challenge the spirit behind failures Challenge the spirit behind marital delays. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure 
without the spirit that sponsors it is dead barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead are you getting what i'm saying the key to liberty is to affect the spirit that initiates that thing for a body without a spirit is dead any cause without a spirit backing it is dead it's null and voice any pronouncement any enchantment without a spirit is dead therefore i want you to lift your voice and i want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will they will bring you into error so that everything you see misleads you into trouble i'd like you to lift your voice again just do what i'm asking you to do from the realm of the heavens challenge powers challenge forces over your finances Oh, it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. 
my goodness there is such a heavy unction on me it's for deliverance tonight it must give way for you to move forward at the count of three hear me listen i want you to shout jesus at the top of your voice at the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction as you shout it fire some of you visions your eyes will be open in the spirit you will see covens catching fire Mata Labata. father you told me tonight is a night of deliverance there are families under bondage there are businesses under bondage enough is enough let your fire bring deliverance are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three second gentile i command covens i command altars i command spirits come bring them out Fire! 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 Brings deliverance tonight. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Holy Ghost is showing me a vision. We are going to shout it again. Please don't do it here. I see many people vomiting poison, physical poison. As you shout, physically it will come out. Lift your voice. Bata bata. Shaka ta ta ta. Mare tende tepa. Father, anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now, as you shout, Jesus. We have victory. One, two, three. Shake it, 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 shake it. A protos, mokotos, lekotos, pronto tokote, eriakata. He must let you go. He must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The Lord is giving me a word right now. There are ladies here. There is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you, to sleep with you right now. Lord, where are they? Let that fire, let that fire bring deliverance right now. Right now, right now, right now. Every spirit husband, every manifestation, every spirit wife, every devil that has leads to you, it leaves you now, now, right now. He must leave you now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. You see physical snakes. Where is that lady? Physically, physically. It appears to you. Physically. The lady is right here. Please come out. I don't know who that lady is. Physical snake. It appears to you. You see it. Let me tell you something. After this miracle service, you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you. That's when you will know that Satan is not as powerful as he looks.
hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers I've been called out of every tribe every tongue I am a, I'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers every witchcraft that attempts to connect me no I'm in Christ I'm in Christ I'm in Christ I'm in Christ Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy God is healing people can you appreciate Jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening I see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now I see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if I don't call anybody's case I'm going to pray for the sick I'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um, Aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies God is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now I'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely I'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness God is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening I saw this same case in Kaduna this morning now I'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we are not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it I know there is a guy I saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah 
the Lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the Lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify God is healing people right now I'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the Lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one I don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now I'm hearing a name Gabriel 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 who is Gabriel 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 the Lord is bringing a, a miracle for Gabriel Gabriel I've been fighting this name but let me bring it out I'm hearing a name Asabe I don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family Asabe Asabe I'm hearing that name who is Asabe please confirm make sure you confirm it let's not huh? you are as a bay uh, but I'm seeing another person again no eh? this you are a, please stand here miracles everywhere come tell us very quickly come come please help us give a run let's let's coordinate them okay come sir let's just listen to this give them the mic Lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the Lord I am the girl who the man of God prophesied I have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once I put my hand I, I always notice blood coming out but now I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people. Let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me. Look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are confession. talking, there is a lady who will come strongly me. under the anointing outside. Please speak that lady and bring her as we are talking the power of God is in fact two ladies two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma'am hallelujah on my left thigh I have this burning sensation I don't even know what cause but I know that once it starts it burns me as if I'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this boy saying I will die even when I was coming last week I had this fear that I was going to but right now Gone. completely gone give Jesus praise God bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we will give you an opportunity to tell us what God is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for God's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down yes please sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest but now I feel very breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain any pain is there any pain is there any pain give Jesus praise yes please praise God while he was preaching I was having peptic ulcer so I peptic ulcer out, but while we started praying it left me and there's I one more outside go and carry her Jesus. it left me immediately now I'm not feeling it again. no pain again give Jesus praise yes ma'am praise the, praise the Lord I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002. But um, when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. Sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games. Please check it. Check it. Eye problems. 
I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem, confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people, please make your way to the front. At least 10 people, check it right now. God is doing a miracle. Don't sit back. Inside and outside, lower abdominal region. Lower abdominal region. That miracle is happening right now. Right now, right now. At least 10 people. 10 people with that pain. As soon as you check it, make your way to the front. Celebrate Jesus. God is healing them. They are coming. They are coming. All of you, you can come and stand here. The moment you receive a miracle, please stand here. They will confirm you. At least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a gentleman. You came here with a throat condition. In fact, um, let me just describe to you. They are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat. It's like there is an elongation. Some, I'm seeing them saying they want to use, is it knife or something? And cut something that, uh, an elongation. Who is that person? The Lord is healing you right now. Right now. You can't swallow things. You always feel like it's like bone. But it's like there is something on your throat. Almost perpetually. Right now, check it, check it. Check it completely. The power of God is coming upon you. There is a lady. God is healing your mother. But the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that. Lord, where is that lady right now? Where is that lady? Identify her, oh God, by the power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Please bring the lady out. God is healing her mother right at home. And God is using what is happening. As, as a point of contact as a point of contact I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump I'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the Lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly Please, loud and straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Help I us sound, please. Can you help us with this mic? I used to have this pain down my stomach here, but now I'm, I'm not feeling Completely okay. gone. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How long has it been? been Come on, Koinonia. Let's not get too used to miracles in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The next person, please. My goodness, look at what God is doing. God is giving people miracles. Go ahead. My name is like I'm pregnant. It's to come like pain as in I'm pregnant and I've been complaining that for months. But today, when the prayer was going on, I felt relief and my stomach is In fact, nothing. as she was talking, hold on. The Lord opened my eyes. There is a lady. Your stomach is already swelling. This is almost, it's even beginning to embarrass you. It's not just like a stomach protruding. You are feeling it very hard and stiff. Um, it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid. Please check it right now. God is giving you a miracle. God is giving you a miracle. God bless you. Bless you quickly. When they say we should shout, praise the Lord. So I now shout. The stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria, but I can't feel it again. Completely gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. It never returns again. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Um, recently, I started having this eye pain. When I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time, but it just left me immediately. If Jesus prays, it never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So, 
I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance. Please help them so that they don't fall on, on. Praise the Lord. The abdominal pain normally comes and goes. And when I was outside, I was still feeling my stomach hooking such that I could not stand well. I was bending. And then when the man of God spoke, I got up and stretched and to the glory Completely of the Lord. no pain again. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Lord. Mine is more of um, creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time. And it's, it happens that every time I try to push further, I realize that there are a lot of setbacks, distractions, and uh, confusions that comes my way. And right now, but what has right happened? now, when at the mention of the name Jesus, I felt my body on fire. I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes. of that creativity yes, co comes to you yes, in sir. the name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Completely. Believe me, that name works. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Chica concerning pain. In pain. The joint. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. Give Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yeah. You go and check yourself and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the, pra praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. <laughs> the power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people and, um, it's okay. Um, there's this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice, like it's swelling up, and sometimes I very, I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. yeah and I now, feel, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay Completely gone. Okay. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the spirit of fear, as in I do get scared a lot, but I now I'm free. In the, name the spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I, was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I ca can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got healed. I announced. I I've saw been that shaking, a baby, I've a been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm not pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Praise. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's if she's out because she's sick, Mama is on as I make her door, please. You people should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming on, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her please the lord is is wiping the tears in your family you believe that when a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty 
hold my hands father in the name of jesus i end this oppression in this family right now it goes forever in the name of jesus who has an elder brother who has an elder brother do you, do you have an elder brother yes. what is he doing he's a carpenter he's a carpenter yes the person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school, though. It's your brother. He, Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they're saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia that the Lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe? Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lyo? Titi Lyo. I'm hearing a name, Titi Lyo. Please, let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Layo. I'm hearing the name Titi Layo. Titi Layo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing... The Lord is... Sir... It won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke. At least we spoke. That one is not word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it. But it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way. Because you have come with your heart open. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands. I pray. Right now that you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hear breakthrough for you, sir. This is what I hear. The Lord is saying I should announce breakthrough to you. Father, I hold his hands and I announce breakthrough in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing. You, you are just standing to agree for her. Okay, no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her? Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Cardinal. What's she doing? She's schooling at Cardinal. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You? I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her... Is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your sir. mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is that true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, once they pray for you, just check yourself and go back. Praise the Lord. And then... Don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with
way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. Hallelujah. Now let's save time. While we are praying for the sick, all of you begin to submit your prayer request. Please, I permit you to put on your phone. If you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests, call them. Because what God is doing tonight is unusual. Call them and tell them there's fire upon this place. They should submit their prayer requests. Ushers, please begin to go around. Those online, those who are connecting with us through the internet, they can also connect by faith. As we trust God for miracles, worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do might, you do glory, you do glory, you are a great God, awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother, do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that? Whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should. Pray for her children in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Who's your dad? Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs are swollen because it's been long I saw him. He doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problem with his mama. Don't all of his children look at him except him. The same problem that mama is having that is facing. Well, just similar things. We are aging. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, O oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now 
as I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Your oh God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Your your name hallelujah hallelujah look at a very serious situation can you flash this this baby look at can you believe listen can you believe for god's sake that this baby as beautiful as this child is the brain is not developing look at this who told you the brain is not developing the doctor and we've done ct scan you've done ct scan you have your evidence they said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How will you like to have a child? That do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him. But God will use him. My God I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit. That is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus. Sorry, who brought her? 
I say, I, I go village, now I'm out from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your talk now? Yes. Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter, you are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. This is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In Jahem, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. Yes, this is. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a well wind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it, but I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law does he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Be careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If you can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go. Or codeine. Altar. Once I make the altar call. Just run and come and kneel down here. Because tonight is your night of salvation. Please, don't play games with your destiny. Anything you smoke, anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency. The moment there's time for altar call, please make your way here. We love you. But then the Lord wants to touch you. Let's hurry up because our time is gone. Your name is here. Out.
rise up on your feet. Praying on the request right now. At the same time, an altar call is called. An altar call will be going. Those who need Jesus Christ, you are here right now, inside and outside. There are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies. The ones that I spoke to. Now is the time. You can come before the presence of God. Don't feel bad. We're a family. And any other person, there are those who are saying, "Lord, I'm tired of the way my life is. I need a new beginning." As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you. Seriously and completely. From this night, take over my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Let your life come upon me. I break free from habits, from sins, and everything that destroys my life. From today, I'm a child of God. I am saved in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus. I break the power of sin over your life. You will never return, especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking. You will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to follow a gentleman. They will have your details. And then on Tuesday, unfailingly, please be around. Um, meet with the prayer department. And um, will fire you up. You'll be with them for at least a month. They will guide you. The gentleman is waving his hand. Salute them, everybody. Congratulate them. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request in one minute. Please, everybody, rise. We're rounding up. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request. Your request is here. Begin to speak. Prophesy. Prophesy over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy over it. prophesy over it Lord unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come are you praying Lord do miracles every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here we judge that spirit every spirit every covenant every influence makata lato Every spirit responsible for barrenness here, yeah, responsible for any setback, in the name of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus, we challenge it. Lord, let your people have testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that every request, every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony. 
in the name of Jesus Christ and you will stand to testify before the people of God in the name of Jesus Christ I pray now lift your hands and receive the prophecy I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of Jesus may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion i arrest it right now you will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way in the name of jesus christ for those who are students i pray for your academics the exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may you record five points in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing I declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of jesus christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the holy spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service i call them forth into your life mysterious help us mysterious help us in the name of jesus christ i pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of god i kill it right now in the name of jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of jesus christ i pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle marriages we release those marriages right now I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle jobs. We release those jobs right now. Please believe me as I pray. We release those jobs right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death. That the devil has said you will not see the end of this year. In the name of Jesus we lift up that embargo. We lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now i speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of jesus christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of jesus christ i command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may god show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit Whenever they are looking for men to favor, may they find you. May they find you. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the city and blessed in the country. You are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in. Every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of Jesus. I declare that the seal of the blood is upon you. You have no covenant with failure. You have no covenant with death. May God use you mightily. 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 I declare, may the mantle of honor 
come upon your life that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence I cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. All those worshiping with us for the first time, please make your way to the front right now very quickly. We're really out of time. We have two minutes and we're out. Please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us. Some have come from far. Some from near different states. Please come. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Keep clapping. They are coming. May God bless all of you who have invited them. Their lives will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically I'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically I prophesy miracle marriage for you in the name of Jesus Christ for one of you, the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before October. Your wedding will happen before December 31st. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we decree and declare over your life. You will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of God. There is someone here you are standing, you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch. One week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you have a few details celebrate them koinonia hallelujah hallelujah hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain